you understood correctly that we are talking about sexual reproduction, which is the mating of genetic matter of the different parents, dependent on the reproductive cells, ovules, and spermatozoid, and each contains half of the parental genome of 23 chromosomes. Such a production is the basic of evolution and genetic variation. Sexual reproduction is necessary for the survival of all species, such as humans. For us, humans, each reproduction cells contains 23 chromosomes, half of the initial complete set, and chromosomes from one parent must pair with the same chromosome of the other parent. Chromosomes unit to brew genetic information before splitting new ones in two, then to form four reproductive cells with different genetic background. This process ensures variation in the reproduction cells. It, it is this process that makes you different from your sister or brother. Every human body contains 23 pairs of chromosomes bearing the genes, genes in the nucleus of each cell with genetic baggage. Comes in part from the mother, 23 chromosomes, and from father, 23 chromosomes, with the 23rd pair is different by gender, female, inherit one X chromosome from each parent, male have Y chromosome from the father and X chromosome of the mother. So female are XX and male XY. And it's the best important thing to remember. In some species, like Drosophila as example, sex is determined by the number of X. This hypothesis is contradictory contradicted by the observation of chromosomal abnormalities affecting in the number of sex chromosomes. Heterosoma abnormalities, we observe a number of abnormalities in the number of sex chromosomes presented by some individual which present a male or female phenotype, which means that the phenotypic sex of the individual does not seem to be related to the number of X's, but rather to the presence or absence of Y. This gives a fundamental role in determining sex, sexual inversions. We observe some rare cases of birth of inter intersexed individual that is presenting a sexual inversion. Their sexual phenotypic does not correspond to the sex chromosomes observable in their karyotype. Mal XX, 1 in 20,000 birth. Female XY, 1 in 10,000 birth. This phenomena is explained by events of mutation of translocation. In fact, the X and the Y chromosomes present homologous regions at the ends of their arms, pseudo-autosomal region part 1 on the short arm and pair 2 on the long arm. Sexual inversion does come from, in fact, the translocalization of a factor of the level of the pair 1 region during meiosis cell multiplication by crossing over. Between the X and Y chromosomes, this factor was named a tested determining factor, TDF, located just below pair 1 or homologous region 1, later it was shown that the TDF was actually a single gene called SRY, sex determining region. This gene is expressed during the sexual development of the gonads in the mall. In the case of translocation, it would be disintegrated on the Y chromosome or added on the X chromosome, say mutations in, in the gene SRY, making it no functional, leading to the obtaining of individual XY but or of a formal phenotype. The gonadal determinants therefore depends on the presence of SRY gene. The SRY protein has a high mobility group as M as MG domain that allows it to uh, to DNA during 
sperm formation, there may be bricks in chromosomal area and DNA fragmentation and may set elsewhere on another chromosome. The SAY gene is localized on the Y chromosome. Sometimes it is found in individuals with 46Y chromosome, two of which are sexual XX, with the SAY glued at the end of one of the Xs. The simplified things, so we have XY individual but female phenotypic, uh, but female phenotype and XX individuals but of male phenotype. The most important to remember, and besides this you will ask me why this recall. Simply it will be useful to you in the next video.